now we're going to talk about setting up the console next. So go ahead and just hit the console button. It looks like the Integra screen. And you'll notice you have four tabs across the top. General, Owner, Features, and Advanced. In this video we're going to talk about setup for the General and the Owner. So, the first thing you'll come to is the brightness and the volume. So hit that button and it's real easy to just go ahead and change the uh, display brightness or you have an automatic button that just kind of detects uh, the light. There's a light sensor right here and it will change the screen when it's dark and dim it down a little bit so it doesn't make it real bright in the cab. Um, and then when the daylight it's going to go ahead and make it as bright as it can be. So you can either have that checked to automatic or you can have it checked uh, to off and have it as a manual adjustment. The other nice thing is we have a speaker volume and it does have dual stereo speakers so it's very loud and you can hear it. Um, some of the complaints we've had with other displays is you can't hear when you touch the display. If you turn the volume all the way up, anytime you touch a live button, you're going to hear a loud noise. Or if you want to go ahead and tone it down a little bit, you can tone it down. But the nice thing is when a tractor is running, if you have it turned up, you can hear what's going on. So just go ahead and adjust your volume to the desired level and your brightness to the desired level and next mark. The uh, automatic is highly recommended that you use that because it is a very nice feature um, when it's dark out. The next thing, date and time, very self-explanatory. Just set your hour, minutes, whether it's PM, whether you want a 12-hour format or a 24-hour format. Set your month, the day, and the year. So again, very easy to do. Time zone, pick out the time zone that you're in. Um, you can do the uh, Eastern time zone for Ohio when Indiana did not change with daylight savings time. They had their own time, so we uh, cho chose uh, America's Indiana. Um, but most people in my area are going to choose the American Eastern Time Zone. Once you have it set, go ahead. Again, same thing for languages. We have several different languages that you can choose from. Um, sometimes, just to play a practical joke, I'll set uh, one of the uh, competitors' displays over to French or something when we're at a farm show, and then they have to come in and try to figure out how to get it back to U.S. So, and I've had that done to me more than once as well. Um, also, choose whether you want metric or imperial measurements. And uh, then you have a screen here that says Calibrate Touch Screen. This can be very handy if you ever notice that you're having to touch or when you touch the button, it doesn't quite match with the way you touch it. Everyone kind of has a different level of perception when, and you may touch the button differently than the person before you. So you can come in and calibrate the touch screen and have it match the way that you touch it. It's going to give you a warning and it's going to tell you basically you need to press firmly and accurately at the center of the target and the target's going to move around the screen until it's aligned. Um, they don't want you to use sharp objects on the screen. So the first thing we're going to see is we're going to see this little target. So we hit it up here in this corner, then down here, over here in the center, Okay, it told us the calibration failed, so we didn't touch where we're supposed to. So it's going to start over again, so it starts in this corner, here, and that's why it failed last time, because I did not follow in the right sequence. And that says our calibration quality is low. So since I'm standing off to the side, we could take that calibration if we wanted, or we can discard it. Um, now we can go in and we can take a look at the owner tab. So we highlight the owner tab. We're going to go in and we're going to select the owner. Now it already has us in here as farms so we're going to do um, Norris Farms as the owner. We're going to hit OK. So now it has our owner as Norris Farms. We could go in and edit the information for the owner if you wanted. We can also bring in an image. To do that you need to have an image, a bitmap, um, file on here and it needs to be no bigger than 200 by 100 pixels. So if you have a farm logo or a business logo that you want to have on your reports, go ahead and put that on the hard drive. You'll see that it's starting to think now as you insert the drive into the uh, Integra. Once it's all ready to go, it will have 
green and it will be black, dark black saying you can go to that drive and pick it out. So here's our bitmap image. It's the AIT logo. It shows a preview of it here. You can hit uh, OK or Next and it'll go ahead and have that image. And it's going to put it on all your reports from now on. If you don't like the image, hit Clear Image and it goes away.